Okay, so this game's called Paranormal Entities. And other than that, I don't know a damn thing about it. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Yeah, sure, I'm ready. Yeah, listen, you the whole fucking time. Oh, God. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So, here's a story. Sticky with what? St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hoped they disappeared. Sounds like you might have some personal experience there, buddy. Did mommy and daddy not love you enough as a child? Ooh, spoopy. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. And drinking themselves with Be careful where you step. Got it. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, okay. spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Yeah, lick a lick a lick of my voice. balls. Let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. I'm making jokes, but I got a feeling I'm about to get fucked up by something. That's how these games work. Hardly ever right, right, does nothing happen at all. Is that a good, I thought it was good. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you're here. You know that there would be one bitchy ghost going, uh-uh, I don't need no man's permission. <laughs> Alright, check that. Oh, no, you didn't. Try one more spot. Oh, oh there it is. Rule of three, something crazy is going to happen this time. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Yeah, you fucks. Show up or piss off. Uh, uh. Okay, Whoa, I'm done joking around now. This game, uh, play that back, play that back. game just got me. All right. Pricks, show up or piss off. Laughing or crying? I think you hurt his feelings, oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. And you're laughing about all it. Right, what a all dick. Right. Looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're gonna continue our investigation the in morgue. the other gathering area. What the fuck do we gotta go to the morgue, man? We're already seeing dead people now. You know that there's like tempting fate. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Not not a good look for us, man. Uh, of course you're just out there in the production, man. I'm okay, in here, you fucker. Okay, areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society will convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Summoning ceremony. It's like going, hey, you know what? Let's go to a graveyard at midnight on Friday the 13th and piss on Jason Voorhees' grave. That sounds like a great idea. Sorry, I'm just reading a text from my brother. 
I'm recording myself on my phone, those of you that don't know, so I get texts and you wonderful people uh, commenting on my previous videos shows up on the screen that's facing me right about, right about here, and uh, yeah, it, it kind of kafuckers me up a little bit. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. Peeper. You think you'd be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires. How? And even how? how do you convince somebody to do that? Legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. Uh. Oh. Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer oh, from the realm of the dead. Uh, Maybe no. interact and manipulate him in this any way you This is a pants off him. dance off. Oh, your head's twisted backwards. Oh, fuck. I don't like this anymore. I would like to go home, please. Stop breathing in my ear. Huh? Oh, shit. Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. Fuck you. You're safe in the van, asshole. <laughs> fucking thing. I'm beating to death with this flashlight, you mother. <sighs> oh, yeah, let's go walk into a prison cell. <laughs> fucking beds. The grudge? Okay, I'd like to close the door now. See you later. Oh, what was that? Oh, hi, you look like you're lost. Oh, shit! That's a good idea. Yelling and screaming. Uh, this is a good idea to get out of here. Yeah. Uh, that meant to happen. Yeah, totally. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Second right, cool. Why can't I run? Shift no worky. Shift no worky. Huh? Stick keys. No, fuck off. Damn, warning some just to shift you to oh, Okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. This is Avengers Age of Ultron music so playing in the background. Is fucking Ultron gonna come get me? What the fuck's up with the, the Danny Elfman score, man? Or Joss Wheaton, whatever the fuck his name is. Good. That shit went off a little bit. Oh, okay, we need it. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Uh. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the? What? What is going on? All right, all right. Just. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. <laughs> No, no, no. What are you crying about, buddy? What happened? What are you crying about, buddy? It's like this game's fucking up and it's me. Hello?
Why does it keep beeping? What the fuck is that? Fragile. What does that mean? Fragile. I'm just kidding. No. I don't know what that means. Oh, cool. Someone seems to have spilled some sperm on the floor and made a pentagram. Not creepy at all. Someone's being a peeper. Oh man, that's you're gonna need a chiropractor if you keep sh shaking your head like that, man. I, uh, I can I leave the Arkham Asylum, please? End of the line. No, it's not. Okay. Keep going. I hate the fact that I love good sound and I bought Adobe Atmos so I can hear every little fucking thing. Now I gotta go back because there's no doors that are unlocked. I know this game. I know it. I know. I know shit that happens. Something's gonna get me. Or it's gonna change and warped in some kind of Silent Hill-esque fashion, and I'm gonna fucking be like stuck in a alternate parallel fucking hallway that goes to, to go someplace I don't want to be, which is worse than here. I get turned around. Probably got turned around. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, it's starting to do that warpy shit. You fuck. Can I leave yet? Blood. Oh fuck me. That's it. I'm. I. Yeah, this is awful. Uh, uh, and by awful, I mean fucking awesome. I haven't had a game made me feel this uneasy in a very long time. Plan. Damn flashlight broke. Great. I can't use that anymore. I'm sorry, what? Did you say come here? Is that you? Hmm? Why am I still holding the flashlight? 
I, I, I don't want to, but I got a feeling I got an advanced story. Uh, I'm about to see you. Yep, there you are. Cool. Yep. I can't run. I don't have the ability to run. No ability to run here. Programmers didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, another dead body. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Perfectly normal here. Oh, dead body people toward next school. Yeah, this is cool. Mm hmm Every day, normal stuff here. Uh, open the fucking door. Can you do that with some haste? Or why are you still holding the flashlight? Drop the fucking flashlight. It doesn't work anymore. Oh, just, uh, okay, yep, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Box. Let me guess what's in there. Scissors? I gotta cut my eyeballs out, right? Yeah, yay! I knew that. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut him out. I ain't cutting shit. He's gonna get me. Yep. Come get me with my non working flashlight. I'm gonna jab you and your peepers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on. Bring it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. This is it, man. Make your decision now. I already it's did. I already made my decision. Fucking death. I'm not cutting out my eyeballs. Never would. Nope. Yep. Um, I can live with that decision or die with it either way. I'm, I'm happy with that. Holy crap! I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and Hi. greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the you know, history of television. You know, you're supposed to stay upstairs until I was done recording. Emmy, we might be on talk shows. I think it's over, though, so I think you missed all the scary parts. Come God. On. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway. You come down and wrap my video for a cameo, you know, show up on camera. Hell yeah. No, okay. No, no, no. I mean, we don't even oh, you want to be on the camera? Come here. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't... No. He's my boy. And, uh, anyway, yeah. another crazy thing about this. Please say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got all this footage for free, dude. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been Say have here a good for, weekend. I don't know, a couple weekend. hours. And we'll see you. See you in the next one. My very wealthy friend, the next you. One. Bye. Starting Bye. to stink. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, see you tomorrow. Whoa, you just ripped my mouse out. Give me that back. Come on, you just ripped my mouse out. That was outside my truck, right? You're ripping my, my stuff. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.